one of three reporters invited today to speak with Patriots owner Robert Kraft on the Aaron Hernandez situation. The first time Kraft has spoken out since the Hernandez situation developed. And Mike, what did the Patriots owner say? Well, the first thing was that he had been in Europe, and this was his first day back business-wise in the United States. And, the, and he said that it was important uh, to him that the Patriots fan base hears directly uh, from the organization in a face-to-face -face type setting. He didn't want to make these remarks uh, while he was in Europe. And the main takeaway uh, from my perspective was Robert Kraft saying that if this stuff is true, then I've been duped. And our whole organization has been duped. And, of course, he's speaking uh, of Aaron Hernandez, a player that the Patriots drafted in the fourth round in the 2010 draft and then gave a pretty lucrative contract extension to in August of 2012. How was he duped? Did you talk about any previous conversations given Hernandez's past? Well, look, a couple of things. Uh, uh, Kraft handed the, the three reporters uh, a letter that he had received uh, from Hernandez uh, when he was coming out of the University of Florida, basically saying that uh, I understand there are concerns that teams might have about alleged uh, drug use and, and that he, Hernandez, agreed to, to drug testing uh, with the Patriots and that he would tie, if the Patriots drafted him, and he would tie part of his money to that. If he had a failed drug test, then he would give the money back. So that would be uh, one aspect of Hernandez sort of putting his money where his mouth was. Uh, in Kraft's own words. And then uh, when, Kraft, when uh, Hernandez received his big contract extension in August of 2012, he donated $50,000 back to the Myra Kraft Giving Back Fund and, and, and told Kraft at the time, according to Kraft, that he wanted to be a role model to the Hispanic community. And Kraft said simply at that time, you know, I believed him and uh, said that he was a very believable player, called him a, a very likable, a most likable young man at that time. What did he say about the decision to cut Hernandez even after all the charges were announced, or before, I should say? Yeah, I think the main thing he said on that is that uh, sometimes principle is more important than the money, and the Patriots will absorb a significant salary cap charge in 2014 at $7.5 million, and that's going to affect the team's ability uh, to field the most competitive team that it wants. And, and Kraft said, look, there are big costs, big distractions, everything we don't want happening right now but he said uh, you know sometimes it's it's about principle more than money what do you say about the family of odin lloyd the victim yeah uh, Kraft, uh, you know said uh, a couple of times just that he has his and this is a direct quote my heart goes out to the lloyd family and that he feels bad that someone connected to this organization is connected to this and uh, and that was said multiple times and uh in this meeting it was about 40 minutes uh, with reporters uh, from ESPNBoston.com, the Boston Globe, and the Boston Herald in uh, Kraft's office here at Gillette Stadium. What do you say about how this affects the Patriots team? Well, he did talk about how, you know, uh, he looks at 20 years of ownership and, and, and feels like, you know, they've done a pretty good job in terms of the players they've brought in. But when something like this happens, uh, which he called a mistake and, and said that the Patriots are facing it head on, uh, that the club will renew efforts and look at procedures, and this is a direct quote. He said, you can be sure we'll be looking at our procedures and auditing how we do things. So perhaps the next time the Patriots are in a position where they might be taking a risk on a player, uh, perhaps they um, look at it maybe a little bit differently, or maybe there's a, another step in the process that they follow that perhaps they didn't this time around. Earlier you used the word duped. How would you assess his overall mood and just temperament, given everything that's happened? Well, I yeah, that's a tough one. That's a tough one to say. I think um, definitely concerns. I think that uh, anyone that has been around Robert Kraft in his 20 years of ownership knows that the, this team means a lot to him. The brand that is the Patriots means a lot to him. And, and, you know, there's no getting around the fact that this obviously doesn't reflect well on the organization. So I think uh, naturally some concern there. And I think one of the main things that I would take away from this is the idea that, that Kraft in, insisting that, this, uh, that he didn't know anything about Hernandez, um, you know, some of these things outside of the facility. He said that uh, when Hernandez was inside the facility, that he was always uh, very polite and he was always respectful to him and that he basically said, we only know what's going on inside the building. And it's a direct quote. He said, we don't put private eyes on people. Robert Kraft speaking publicly for the first time, but what about Bill Pelichek? Did Kraft have a chance to relay anything from that, from their discussions? 
No, no, nothing, nothing connected to Bill Belichick. The one time that uh, Bill Belichick's name uh, sort of surfaced in the discussion with the three reporters was uh, after uh, Kraft reflected on giving Hernandez the contract extension in August of 2012. He said that he was told by Bill Belichick that at the time Hernandez had one of the best training camps of any player on the team, and I think that sort of goes back to this uh, vetting the character of the player. Sometimes a team might give a player a contract extension and maybe the player doesn't put in the work and doesn't perform at the same level maybe when they were playing for a contract. And that was really the only time that, uh, that it came up in terms of Bill Belichick. What about the future of the club, given what's happened to Hernandez and even Rob Gronkowski? Well, a lot of questions on the field in terms of how they'll adjust offensively. Uh, you know, they obviously signed Hernandez to a contract extension um, last, last year through 2018, and Gronkowski, with the health questions, he signed through 2019. So we know that the idea for the Patriots was to build their offense around those two tight ends. Now you take one of them out of the mix and you have questions with the other one health-wise. It's going to be a lot of interest as to how the Patriots uh, go forward on offense without these key pieces. But I think that's to come when they report to training camp. Uh, you know, coaches on vacation right now. I think still right now the, this idea of ownership addressing the Hernandez situation, the aftermath, I think that's probably the priority right now more so than drawing up game plans and, and maybe how they proceed. I think that's to come in the coming weeks. All right, that's ESPNBoston.com's Mike Reese after speaking with Patriots owner Robert Kraft following the arrest of Aaron Hernandez.